starting an AI automation agency can be very expensive and there's a ton of tools that you need in order to have your agency running smoothly. A hack that we discovered in the early stages of our agency is that you can apply for startup programs and get a ton of free credits, including OpenAI credits, Azure credits, Microsoft 365 credits, and much more. And in this video today, I'm going to be showing you from A to Z what exactly you need to do to apply for this and increase your chances of actually getting those credits. Without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So that you know what to expect, I'm going to be walking through what tools do you need when starting your agency, how do you get these credits for free and where do you apply, how to apply and how to write your application, how long does it take for your application to be reviewed and accepted, and how can you redeem your credits. All of this will be covered in this video. By the way, quick side note, everything that I'm showing you in this video today is going to be available. The full document and all additional infos, including links, etc., are going to be available in our school community at school.com slash Omnifusion. Go ahead and join there. And in the classroom section, you're going to be able to find this document and everything that you need in order to get these credits. All right. So these startup programs, which I'm about to show you, actually offer up to $20,000 in credits, sometimes even more. It depends on which tier they are are going to put you in throughout your application. Now, what tools do you need when you're starting your agency? There's a ton of tools that we personally use, including Notion, Google Business, OpenAI, Miro for brainstorming, Stripe to accept payments, MongoDB if you need a database, LinkedIn Business, Microsoft 365, which is Excel, Word, etc., Azure, and many, many more. Now, as we all know, this is expensive. This quickly comes to a couple hundred dollars a month, and you haven't even signed your first client yet. It's just for these tools. So that's why getting these credits is so important. Now, the next part is how do you get these credits for free? Now, the first thing that you're going to need in order to apply is to set up a good LinkedIn profile. Now, you don't need this for all startup programs, but you do need it for the Microsoft startup program, which is the key startup program that we're going to be talking about in this video. Now, a good LinkedIn profile means that you need some employment history on there. You should have a profile picture. You should have a couple posts on there, a bio, at least a few connections. It should look somewhat professional. You should mention your your company as your current employment or your current project and essentially just look like a real person and look like somebody who's doing something worthwhile. So once you've set up a good LinkedIn profile, then first step is going to be to apply to the Microsoft startup program, which takes about five to 10 minutes. And if we go ahead and go to the website, which you can also find in the school, as I mentioned before, you can see Accelerator Startup Growth with AI. And in this startup founders hub, we get credits for a ton of stuff, including Azure, OpenAI, uh, we get up to a hundred $150,000 in Azure credits and much more. As you can see, you need to apply with LinkedIn. But if we scroll down here, you can see a ton of different benefits. For example, and we got this in our agency as well, you get $2,500 worth of OpenAI credits, which is absolutely crazy, up to $150,000 in Azure credits. You get access to Microsoft Teams and a ton of more things. I actually have a quick document. Let me pull that up and show you guys some more benefits. So this is a screenshot of the benefits that we have. As you can see for Azure, we ended up getting only a thousand, but there's a ton more things that you can sign up for, such as LinkedIn Premium Business, Bubble, Mercury Banking, Microsoft 365, MongoDB, um, and all these different tools, Visual Studio Code. All of these are included if you join the Microsoft Startup Program. Now, in order to apply, just go ahead and click on Apply with LinkedIn, and it's going to redirect you to LinkedIn, where you're going to have to sign in and then fill out a couple questions, which is then going to allow you to submit your application. The next thing you should apply to once you've applied to the Microsoft Startup Program is to apply to Google Cloud. The important thing when you apply to Google Cloud is to say that you're an AI software development company. It's key that you do AI and software. Even if you don't do software and you're like a low code developer, whatever the case may be, just say you're an AI software development company in order to get this. Now, all you need to do is click on, on this link and actually go ahead and fill out your form. You can get up to 200,000 US dollars um, and up to 350,000 US dollars for AI startups in cloud credits over two years. And basically what this means is that if you get a custom Google domain, so for example, our domains are at omnifusion.ai, if you want a domain like that for your business, including all the services that come with it, such as Google Drive, additional uh, email addresses for your team members, and so on, you will be able to use these credits to eliminate that bill. So for us personally, in our agency, this saves us over $200 a month 
on the Google bill, which we don't have to pay because we applied for this program. It's very simple. Fill out some roles over here. And we are, of course, an AI startup. The next thing is going to be Notion. Now, Notion, obviously, we use it in our agency. And I think a lot of people use it in theirs as well. This only works if you haven't subscribed to the paid plan yet. So if you're currently on the free plan of Notion, you can go ahead and click this link right here. And it will take you to this page where you get up to six months free with unlimited AI in your Notion workspace. That's up to six thousand dollars in saving and all you need to do is click on apply now and go ahead and apply now a quick bonus tip which is a general piece of advice any tool that you sign up to with your business you should always google first to see if there's a startup program available because more often than not there is and it can save you a ton of money in the long run now let's talk about how to apply now there's some important things to consider here you need to tell them what they want to hear so the credits are granted obviously it's an application process meaning they do look at it and they don't grant the credits to everyone. Now, if you go through this form and if you read through their description of the startup program, you will very quickly be able to see what they want you to say and who is allowed to join the startup program. You need to tailor your application in that direction to make sure that you're saying what they want to hear. The second thing is if you get rejected, don't worry. It doesn't mean that you're really going to be rejected. For example, with Google, we got rejected as well. We sent them an email, we reached out to them and we actually got accepted after after explaining to them again why their decision was incorrect and why we should be a part of the startup program. Now, you might be wondering, how long does this whole thing take? How long does it take for my application to be reviewed? It usually takes about three to five days. At least that was our experience. So you should be expecting somewhere in that range for your application to be accepted or denied. An important note when it comes to redeeming credits, for example, for the Microsoft startup program, inside the Microsoft startup program, when you have your Stripe credits, your OpenAI credits, etc., you can redeem them at any time. And what you need to do sometimes when you redeem, you are going to have to actually apply again. So for example, for Stripe, we clicked on redeem and in Stripe, we had to fill out another form, but that automatically gets accepted if you were already a part of the Microsoft startup program. That's just a quick side note, which you should keep in mind while redeeming your credits. And that is how you can get over $20,000 in credit for your AI automation agency and save a ton of money every single month with ongoing costs. If you found value in this video, please leave a like, join our school community at school.com slash Omnifusion. And if you want to work with us, please visit Omnifusion.ai for more. Have a great day and thank you for watching.